I woke up in the mood of doing a subscription box unboxing. My ice cream beauties are here. So let's dive in. These are for the month of May. I try to stay on top of like my unboxings. The brand send me product. There's a lot of work and effort that goes behind shipping product out. So I try my best to make sure that I, they're featured during the month that they launch. You know what I mean? Plus these are sent to me in PR, meaning for free. So I don't have to pay for these. And I'm like really grateful. So it is very important for me to make sure I show these brands some love, whether I love the product or not, just reviewing them helps them out a lot. I'm going to go ahead and do my little thumbnail real quick. Thumbnails are like so weird. Sometimes you have to make it a point to take several pictures because you just never know which one's going to look the best. I had mentioned that a some time ago, it was like so weird, but it is what it is. I mean, at the end of the day, the thumbnail makes the video, you know, let's start off with the bag. The bag is like 13, 12, 50, $13. And you're paying like $7 for shipping. I don't know. That's the inside inside. I was like, what is this stuff in the bubble? There's stuff in the bubble wrap. Okay. I ended up getting three full size items. One of them being Age of Art Cosmetics product. This is the Lyrica Anderson and Gerard Cosmetics Light em Up Lip Gloss. I don't own this. This is in the shade James. Don't own it. Yeah, well, didn't own it until now because I got it in the Ice Cream Beauty. Light em Up, which means that they're packaging. Oh, wait. I feel like I saw this as a spoiler over on Instagram. And when I at first saw the shade, I was like, that is dark. But then technically it's, uh, technically it's not. That is going to be your shade. I love how they have the name here. That's very different for Gerard Cosmetics. And then again, the shade James has a mirror on the side. And when you remember the Emco Beauty and I was like, oh, it has a light. And I told you guys, Gerard Cosmetics was the first brand I tried that had a light to it. Here we go. This one has it. I'm going to give you guys a swatch. It looks brown, like a really deep brown. It is a gloss, but when you swatch it, it's more of a wine color. So it's a very deep berry, if you will. I love my lip combo, so I'm not going to remove this. Although it would kind of go with the eye since I went very um, berry on the eye and grapey, if you will. Pero mira, this would make the eye look so much more vampy. Maybe I'll recreate the eye look and apply this on the lips for the try on. Anyway, then we're going to go to item number two. It is an Illuminati something sparkle and shine 12 universal face palette. Didn't I just say I would recreate the eye? I mean, this formula is nothing like the one I have on my eyeball, so it's not going to be spot on, but I feel like I can try to make it work with these three shades here and maybe mixing this topper with this one. Let's give it a little swatchy roo. Yeah, these toppers, you know, when you look at it, it looks so shiny and beautiful, but then when you apply it on the eye, it doesn't give what you think it's giving sometimes. Didn't we get an Illuminati one or something very similar that wasn't like 100% what it needed to be? These are very cool toned and toned down. The black is not as black as it should be. If anything, it's like a smoke shade. Um, I don't want to judge it too soon though. I'm just giving you like first impressions because we have to see what happens when you actually apply it. And then the balm, Gerard Cosmetics and the balm in the bag is bananas. This is their face primer. It is a base for a flawless face. La la la. I have not tried this. The balm is so underrated. They have great product, beautiful product. And I get it. I mean, I feel like compared to all the other brands that are out there and the quality, their price point shouldn't be where it's at because they're no longer the it thing as they were like in 2016, but they still have great product and we need to like really give them a lot more attention. Here is their primer. I'm getting rid of the box and I didn't throw it. I have a pile of empty boxes just sitting here next to my trash. I am go, Ugh. I don't know why that happened. It doesn't look like that's supposed to be. So it's separated. What the heck is going? That's kind of grossy, grossy. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, because I don't think we're going to shake her up. I don't know what the texture or the formula is supposed to look like, but I squeezed it and it looks like the little to be threw up on my, my hand, which is gross, gross. Let's try it again. Shaking it up does make somewhat of a difference. There's no like 
loose oils going on. I am going to do some research and see what the formula is really supposed to look like. It's a pore smoothing primer, so technically speaking, you're able to use this on its own with no makeup. And in turn, it's gonna make your skin look smooth and freaking perfect. So these three items, for the price of the bag, is not bad. Like, it, I think it's, this is like, okay, and these two is freaking fantastic. The brands, come on. And for reference, the palette goes for $22. I don't know about that, but the primer by the balm is 30. And the Color Your Smile Lip Gloss Collab uh, Gerard Cosmetics is $24 for the one item itself. So you literally multiplied what you paid for within the value of the bag. Totally worth the price point. Now let's get into the box. I like to compare them and be like, which one was better, the bag or the box? Given that we only get three products, there are two that are amazing so far in terms of the brand. But is the box gonna be better? I'm hoping there's a better palette in there. You guys, there's more Gerard Cosmetics in this box. And I'm not mad at it. Well, let's get right into it. I got a Color Your Smile Lip Gloss. This is not a collab. This is in the shade Salmon. And this goes for $24 hair. I don't have this already. At least I don't think so. And it's so... Salmon? Do I? No. This is a shade, girl. And it has the light. This is pretty. It's not gonna go with my eye look. I am a sucker for like a coral and an orange. This might be my go-to lip gloss shade for the summer. Then we ended up getting, this is by Beauty Moon Cosmetics. It's a little loose glitter. It's a dual chrome and goes for $10. Thing about these, although they're amazing, they're so messy. Here she is, just me pressing my finger into the pot. Let me make sure I close her, and then let me give her a swatch. Oh, that's pretty. It looks wet. You know what I wanna do? I do, I do, I do. I'm gonna add some to my eyeball. It's purple in it. I think it'll work. And that one dip of the finger into the pot did the most. Look at how this baby sparkles. It's so pretty. Okay, that's gonna be a yay. And like I said, it's 10 bucks. I am gonna dust away whatever little glitters I see because I still have my mess. Okay, I'm waiting for the weekend to clean it. And um, I don't really know where the tape is right now. Okay, next we ended up getting an Appeal Cosmetics Gel Liner. See, these confuse me because I don't know if it's for the eyeballs or if it's for the lips. Gel Liner Appeal Cosmetics. This goes for $21. It's in the shade Next Level. Ah, I never read the description because I suck, okay? But the description here says that these are meant to be used on the lips or on the eyes. It's totally up to you. Now it makes a lot of sense as to why it doesn't say nothing. Let's give her a swatch. It's a very strawberry shade and she's very pretty. This shade would have been amazing on the lip today. Is that tie the look together? Adding a little more pizzazz. Just make sure you sharpen and you disinfect because you don't want to just transfer stuff between one place and the other because it's not cute. Okay, next, next, next. Um, I'm gonna show you the other Gerard Cosmetics product. It is going to be a facial cream. It is their BB Plus Illuminator. This goes for, I knew it, $36. So this one is in the shade Grace. I realized the shade Grace is not the shade that I have. I have Sophia, however, I don't use her. The cap is somewhere in the gaveta. I don't use this as often as you would think that I would. So why would I open a brand new one knowing that I have this one that I don't gravitate towards as much when I could share it with you guys? So I'll just kind of show you what it's going to look like. It's very, very pretty. Yes, the tones are gonna to be slightly different because these are two shades. I'm gonna add this one into a giveaway. This is the kind of product that you want to apply a little at a time because it's like very luminous. You know what, let's apply the one that I have on the cheeks. It's gonna give you great radiance. The only thing with it is you are going to want to work quickly because once it sets, it sets. I would only work on one side at, look how pretty she is. I would only work on one side at a time. And yes, you can apply this over a powder. It's gonna look stunning. And then if you get a little bit of a division, just go in with your powder puff and hit it with whatever's left on that division and your sepal look 
how radiant and pretty that looks compared to this side. It's all matte. One pump is going to give you what you need. I'm using this uh, Bod, 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 Bod brush I recently got. It blends, it sets, and it's not going to move, but it sets fairly quickly. This is not the kind of product I would recommend you apply on the eyelid. I would probably hit the eye, like the brow bone, and that's as far as I wanna go with the product on the eye because it'll look kind of dry and wrinkly on the lid and it's not all that pretty when it looks like that. You know what? It added a little something. So I'm gonna add this to a giveaway and then we ended up getting an eyeshadow palette. This is called the Ultimate Cappuccino Palette. It is by Didi's Signature. I'm hoping we have a lot of, are these the shades? This is supposed to go for $34. I'm thinking cappuccino, there should be several shades of browns. If this is it, then obviously it's not gonna happen. But when I think cappuccino, if I were to create a cappuccino palette, I would totally go with all sorts of browns and creams, you know, transition shades. We'd have some warm ones. We'd have cool tones, just cool tones and warm would be absolutely amazing, but that's just me. When we open, well, okay. So we've got some of the shades that I probably would put this is that. The shades in the back are going to be the shades that you get inside. The shades are very pretty. I'm not knocking it. And I like that you have some duo chromes. I would have probably X'd out these two. Maybe even this one and the green. These three shades up here are outstanding for a cappuccino palette. This one as well. And these three actually work. But when we're looking at, I don't know, maybe I'm just being. I don't mean to offend anybody, I'm just saying. Ultimate Cappuccino. I was expecting warm and cool tone browns. That was an opportunity, man. But I'll go ahead and swatch these. Uh, yeah, I would have kept the duochromes. I think they could have worked for a cappuccino palette. And then I wanna swatch the browns because it being named the cappuccino palette, when we try her, I'm going to go all brown on the eyeball. These three, and then this one would be what I would use. This is a beautiful and pretty much perfect brown. See those three shades scream coffee. Like I'm good with that. This one is a little warmer than I would like it to be. Had it been a little more cool tone, but you know what? It looks cocoa, so that works. The palette is nice. I just think I'm being thrown off by the name cappuccino because I love coffee. So I was hoping for an all. And then you have cocoa beans in the front. So I just, whatever, whatever, Dottie. Maybe it's just your brain. Anyway, what do you guys think about the palette? This one is way more exciting than the one from the bag. I'll give you that. And for $34, I don't think it's bad considering you're paying for the box. It's like 25 bucks. And then you're getting all of this product. You're getting Gerard Cosmetics. So you're getting great value. Between the box and the bag, 100% the box wins. Although the bag has a great value for the price point, I feel like the box hit it out of the park. You have a great eyeshadow palette that you're able to create several looks with. You get lippy. Look at that glitter on the eyeball. It's freaking insane. You're getting one of these, which is like has a high retail value. The box wins this time around. I'm just trying to zhuzh up this like crease area because man, ah, those glitters were kind of up there for me and my liking. Anyway, what do you guys think? Are you getting the box? Are you getting the bag? Are you getting both? Which one was your favorite? What do you guys think about the palette's name? Is it just me? You already know, I wanna hear your thoughts, so make sure you leave a comment below. If you're interested in Ice Cream Beauty, I will add a link and a promo code that you can use to save some money on your very first box. No, I get nothing out of it, other than the ability to help you save some money, which I absolutely love doing. You know, we can't go anywhere without saying hello and thank you to our channel members, the G Squad. This amazing group of people have joined channel memberships and are supporting the channel at a higher level, unlocking exclusive perks, like a private community page, additional giveaways, YouTube providing them with a badge, letting everyone know who is a channel member, and is highlighting all of their comments under my videos. So if you're ever interested in joining, all you really need to do is hit the join button below and you're good to go. Now listen, the video is over, I know, but you don't have to go anywhere because YouTube is going to recommend your next video here based on your watch history. And I will recommend additional beauty content I think you're gonna enjoy. So I hope you consider checking it out and I'll see you guys on the next video.